interactions of different frequencies. And so the whole thing is forever evolving. So then you ask, so who is the top god? Who runs this structure? And the moment you ask, you find yourself in the infinite void, and suddenly a brilliant light comes down on you, so brilliant that you're blinded, and you're shaking, because now you realize you are talking to the ultimate god of the structure. So what do you do? You peek under and you realize that this is a tunnel of light. So you enter that and you begin to ascend and you go faster and faster. And in fact, you begin to tumble down faster and faster. And then you realize that it's making a U-turn. And at the end, there is something there. And you know that that is it. And you will soon be confronting the God of manifest creation. As you finally look at it, you realize that you are looking at yourself, a carbon copy of yourself. But that self sits there paying no attention to you and you're lost. You don't know what to say to yourself. How's the weather up there? What do you say to yourself? So, you revert to your old tested trick. You merge with yourself so that by merging, you can know yourself and you can find out what it's all about. So, you turn around and you slowly back into yourself like into a tight garage. And when you finally do, what happens is that there is a tremendous bang and you become the void. Because you are the consciousness, which is the void. And that part of you that had never left has always been the void. And that observer that was watching through your eyes and guiding you through this obstacle course to go back to yourself, your higher self, was the observer that had never left and was watching you creating this whole phantasmagoria for yourself. We each create our own. And it's just a trip back home to reunite with your own self. And so we could say that we are the creators, the producers, and the consumers of our own reality.